At least 3,600 cases of the dengue disease have been reported in the U.S. this year alone. Here is what the city of Brownsville is doing to help keep the mosquitoes at bay. The city of Brownsville's Department of Health, Wellness, and Animal Services Vector Control Division has been placing pesticide in specific spray zone areas. UTRGV Professor Christopher Vitek says the Rio Grande Valley is a high-risk zone for mosquito-borne diseases. We're one of the few areas in the country that's had Zika virus and chicken goodyear virus and dengue virus and West Nile virus, uh, to name a few. But now, I don't want people to be freaking out and lock their doors, never go outside. But it's just something where you want to be careful and, and want to be aware of the risks. And then I think it's also critical to try to support uh, local public health efforts. Medical entomologist and vector control supervisor Yasiri Gonzalez talks about the chemicals in the spray, adding it only works while its mist is in a cloud-like state. So it's an, it's an organophosphate and that attacks a different, uh, so that's in, um, that is a nervous system. And so what's really important about this is that we need to target mosquitoes from different modes of action. They fall, the, the permethrin and organophosphate fall into different modes of action. So what that means is that we're targeting the mosquito from different points, right? We're not just attacking the nervous system, we're attacking something else. So we need those two blends in order to avoid the possibility of resistance. Gonzalez says they change the pesticide every one to two years to prevent mosquitoes from forming a resistance to the chemical. Gonzalez adds there's not many chemicals to control the mosquito populations and restrictions set by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency make it difficult. So we have two different. We have one called the biomist and that's a permethrin and so that targets mosquitoes in the sodium ion channel and then we have another chemical called mosquito master and that's a dual and that one is also permethrin. Gonzalez also says the city sprays five to seven days after heavy rain to eliminate the mosquito larvae. She adds the city of Brownsville is expected to debut its own mosquito testing facility and explains how it will help the community. What is really cool, and we're gonna have our grand opening on October 8th, so you're more than welcome to join. Um, I actually, we opened a testing facility here for the city of Brownsville. So we're no longer sending our mosquitoes out to state for testing. We have a turnover rate of a day in, as opposed to like two or three days, depending on how, what day, what day of the week we send it to the state. The city of Brownsville will have a grand opening for its new mosquito lab on October 8th at a location that has yet to be stated. However, it will be open to the public. For KVAQ-TV in Brownsville, I'm Celine Bocanegra.